What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved update video. So patch 252 has just recently dropped and with it has come a whole bunch of new features on dinos. But in this video we are going to be taking a look at one of the newest dinos, the Akatina. Alright guys, so this is what the Akatina or giant snail actually looks like. They do look pretty cool and they have this awesome little wiggling animation as they move which I really do like. I'm really liking the shell on these, it's more of an aquatic shell on an aquatic snail rather than you know the standard land snails you'd find in today. Now these guys are found in the jungles and marshes of the island so look around near swamps and foresty type of areas. The reason this guy is here is because I'm doing some sort of video testing today and I thought that I would spawn one in so I wouldn't have to spend too long looking for them. So if you are looking to spawn these guys in, at the bottom left of the screen you can see the cheat code that is cheat summon akatina underscore character underscore bp underscore c underscore very long to say but we're going to be taking a look at this cool little guy. I have a little setup over here with quite a few of them in there to take a look at the cementing paste sort of farming features with them and then I have one over here which is knocked out. He's, he's tired, he doesn't want to do the video so he's sleeping. So we got this guy here, it's currently paused and we are going to unpause it and take a look at how you actually tame these guys. So they do move pretty slow as you can see, you can just walk up to them and they, they're just so slow you can walk faster. Well you're almost double or triple times the speed with walking but they're so slow. To knock these guys out I'm going to be using a crossbow with a trank dart, a uh, trank arrow even. And you shoot them once and they should get knocked out. Unless they crawl up in their little shell like this. When they crawl up in their little shell, you cannot get them at all. I'm not too sure if they resist all of this damage. I think they do. That's the main reason of the shell. But we're going to have to wait for this little guy to come back out here. He might take some time. So what we're going to do is spawn in another one. And we're going to get this guy from behind. One in there. And he's knocked out. There you go. He crawled up in his little ball, but it just wasn't enough, so it knocked him out. Let's see if we can get this guy again. Yeah, we got both of them. Now, in terms of taming these guys, I'm not too sure as to what they eat, and that's what we're going to find out now. So I'm throwing some berries in there and some meat. It could be an omnivore. I forgot what the dossier said. I'm pretty sure it's a herbivore, actually. But we'll see what this guy eats. He's going to take his time. Oh dear, there's a raptor here. That is really not good. Let me quickly sort this guy out. Now considering I have infinite ammo, if I do this, now let's see if this guy gets knocked out from these three magically floating arrows that are soon going to hit him right in the head. Oh! <laughs> Bang! Knocked him right out and almost killed him, so we might as well finish this guy off because he's just going to wake up and annoy us anyway. There we go, Raptor dead. Don't need to worry about him. Now let's take a look at these snails again. Uh, 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 we were feeding this one here and it turns out we are actually running out of narcotics for this little guy. So whilst this guy is taming up, I'm going to stick some narcotics in here and we're going to take a look at my little pen that I put over there. So I set up this little pen here and it's kind of strange how these things actually work. Now I've set them all to wander and as you can see, when they actually, you know, release their feces, it's not actually feces, it is dropped by Akatina, it is Akatina paste. So. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce them anyway, Akatina, according to Google Translate it's Akatina, it says Achantina, Achantina, Akatina, either way there's something like that, but they do drop these little balls of paste. Now if this is the case it's going to be very annoying for those of you that want cement and paste, you're going to have to spend a very long time following these guys around to get the cement and paste. However I have also noticed something else pretty cool about them. After they've been on wandering for a while and I open their inventories, they have quite a lot of cementing paste and organic polymer inside of them. I'm not too sure as to how often these guys sort of generate this, but it is a lot more than following them around. So this guy only has 12. This guy has 100, 104 with an extra 6 organic polymer, and this guy has 100 with 6 as well. So most of these guys did start with 100 cement paste and 6 organic polymer once I tamed them. I'm not too sure if that's some sort of boost you get after taming them. Like the second you put them on Wanda they just sort of have that in their inventory right away. But over time they do sort of generate it. As you can see these little balls are everywhere. They have a very short amount of time on them so 
You have to be very quick if you're collecting these. You can also pick these guys up, which is really awesome. A lot easier to carry around, so if you're in sort of a swampy area or forest and you tame one of these guys, it's going to be very easy to carry them back to your base. They do come in a whole bunch of different colours. So we got, wait, we have two purple ones here. We have three brown ones, I believe. Unfortunately, it kept spawning in the brown ones. There was an orange one, which I got here, which is really cool. So I'm just going to spawn in a bunch by here quickly and see what other colours we can get. We've got some more orange ones, a whole bunch of orange ones. We've got a brown one, another orange, orange again, brown, brown, brown. Oh, we got sort of a brown with a pinky coloured shell, which is really nice. Let's see what other ones we can get. It seems to just be giving me orange and brown. I had some purple ones earlier. Why is it taking so long to find a good colour? Right, so we got a purple one as well. Don't know where we went. It's just here a minute ago. But yeah, as you can see, the colours don't really vary that much. They're sort of a dull orangey brown colour. They have different colour bottoms, so we got orange with a green bottom there, we have orange with a pink one there. They have sort of different colour underbellies and stuff. I wonder if they can survive in water. They seem to be making their way over here, so I'll put one in the water. They do sort of, sort of slide across the bottom. My game is quickly frozen, which is not good. But they do slide across the bottom, I'm not too sure if they drown. I don't think they have an oxygen. But as you can see, he's called them in his little shell there, because... Uh, Piranos were nearby. Alright guys, so I've done a little bit of research and I have found out that the only way to tame the Akatina or Giant Snail is with these sweet vegetable cakes. I've tried loads of different berries, rare flowers and rare mushrooms and I've also tried these vegetables here, which are the standard ones, but the only thing that will tame up this little snail here is the sweet vegetable cakes. Now, that is sort of a downside considering that they are sort of a pain in the ass to make. They require so much different resources and are quite time consuming. But there really is nothing we can do, that is their preferred sort of kibble, their only food that they eat. And I guess it is sort of worth it considering you are getting a unlimited cementing paste sort of farm out of it. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I've come back over to these guys here just to show you that they do generate cement and paste over time. They are on Wanda and they have been sort of snailing around and they have quite a few cement and paste in them. Now if you're going to tame up a number this big, so we've got five of them here, that is going to be a very time consuming process for you and I sort of recommend going for a low level one, like a level one to five. It doesn't really matter too much on the level, but only there just to squirm around on the floor and they will tame up a lot quicker if you get a low level one. Considering the sweet vegetable cakes are a pain in the ass to make and take absolute ages to tame up these guys. I just want to thank you all so much for watching and thank you for all of the support you guys have been giving me. If you enjoyed the video be sure to stomp on that like button and if you're new to the channel then subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content. There are a few more update videos coming up on the channel in the next sort of a sort of few hours or so, I'm trying to get them out as quick as I can, but stay tuned on the channel, they will be up very soon, and I'll see you all in the next video.